Anything that uses electricity, we want to gain the expertise. That's why Madison has one of the largest EV charging networks in the Midwest. Let's get this technology out there, study it, see how it works. There are 27 charging stations around Madison. We love the public network. It's great. We can charge at home, come here, charge up. Wherever there's a charging station, we'll try to hit it. We really couldn't have done it without the help of our business partners. MG&E said, hey, what do you think about this idea? And we will put it in and run the cabling underground and it will be not a disruption to your customers. Thanks. They delivered on everything that they said. In Fitchburg, we have two charging stations, one adjacent to the library and another one at our community center. We just saw it as an added benefit to our customers. They certainly liked the fact that we had put in the charging station for their electric cars. It actually motivated John Shaw to make the change. We saw it and we were curious about it and then we thought, well, if we're in the market for a new car, maybe we should consider this because our club has a charging station. We absolutely want to encourage people to look at lower emission vehicles. That fit right in with our sustainability efforts that we were ramping up as a company. From day one, all the energy we've used for our public charging stations is 100% renewable energy. It just feels good that wind is providing the energy to drive around. From the start, drivers who used MG&E's public charging network agreed to be part of a study. This is valuable research. It's a new load to the utilities and it's significant. So it's important for us to see when they charge, how much energy that car is taking, the length of charge time. We're learning a ton off of this. In exchange, drivers received several years of free charging. And it really helped us grow the program because we recently upgraded 10 of our most heavily used stations to a newer model. That's just one of several changes for the public charging network. We're going to move forward with a billable model. I think it's just a reality that at some point we're going to have to charge for the service so that we can sustain it into the future. I totally understand the need for to go to a fee because it's, it's costing them. If people see that they could power their car by wind, maybe that would encourage me and encourage others to use it and pay for it. Drivers will get a 50% discount if they continue with mg and &E's study. We already know what happened when it was free. Now we're going to be able to know what happens when it's half price. So it's going to be a lot to learn. And though it remains mg and &E's charging network, services will now be managed by ChargePoint. They have the largest network of charging stations in the country. When people want to use our stations, they can go on the ChargePoint website, sign up for an account, and join mg &E's program right on the sign-up page and get 50% off. They have the ChargePoint app on smartphones. We're actually one part of a nationwide network, so it really travels with the EV owner no matter where they are in the country. With more and more electric vehicles on the road, public charging is evolving quickly, with organizations building on what mg &E started. We were hearing some requests to allow people to charge on campus, and so we went to mg and &E to talk to them about what can we learn from you, what should we avoid, what should we move towards. UW-Madison decided to put in 12 public charging stations around campus. Really, it's about keeping up with evolving technologies, but also moving toward the sustainability goals of the university. Already, we're seeing that there, there was an interest and a need. People just saying, thanks, it's worked out great. And that initial MG&E charging station at hy V has inspired the company to grow the idea on its own. I was able to pass along that we had successes with it here, and the general feedback was that we would enjoy having a charging station at our Fitchburg store as well. So then we started installing more charging stations, not just here in the Madison market, but at stores throughout our eighth state trade territory. The future is hybrid vehicles, electric vehicles. We like to be out in front of things. That's the future.